Greetings Shiftlings, Fire here and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create the perfect soul core for your needs. I'm gonna be totally clear and honest with you, I did not make this discovery myself. This was discovered by another person and I suppose it's common knowledge by now, so I will be crediting the vid from which I got the info initially and its creator in the description. I added a bit of extra info myself, I clarify some things and I will walk you through it step by step so we will know what exactly we can expect from this method. So the mission we're running is Cherry Blossom viewing in Daigo, it's a 345 mission in Way of the Demon or Dream of the Demon as it is in Neo 2. I do it on the highest difficulty setting because each of the difficulty settings is let's say gated to a specific level of core so for us to know that we're getting the highest level of core possible I'm doing it on Dream of the Demon this might actually not influence your drops at all but even if there is one variable that says there's a 3% chance that you're gonna get a lower level core if you do it on Dream of the Strong I didn't want to test it a thousand times to be totally sure about it. You will not have to do any combat, so go on Dream of the Demon. We need three things, and that is a cat walking scroll, a tiger running scroll, and a sneak thief scroll from the ninjutsu tree. Okay, as you can see, they're fully upgraded here. And what we will be doing is as follows. We just start the mission. When you are here, cast your ninjutsu and follow this route. Be careful of the guy here. Drop behind this guy. And you will be here at the Sadama. Now the big Sadama have the ability to do specific things that the smaller Sedama cannot do. Specifically, the exploit we will be using here consists of us forcing this Sedama to drop a re-rolled version of our soul core that we want to reforge, let's say, and it will retain the upgrade level and the actual level of the core. So let's go here our course I'll sort it by type okay and let's say that I want this 180 Aminudo soul core to be reforged as you can see I have it on soul core rank 16 and it has defense and critical yokai shift dark realm if I drop this nothing will happen something will happen as soon as I exit my menu I do not want to drop this alone, however, I will be sacrificing an extra core. This campus, for example, that has treasure sensor, which is not very useful and it's 170. Okay, I drop them both. Notice that the second core you are dropping will be sacrificed. That's very important. I'm dropping this. I exit. And the Sadama takes them both. And there are two possible outcomes. One is that it will drop little thingies, low rank loot that is, and the core. The other outcome is that it will drop your core and it will also drop a Kodama core. So you can end up getting an extra core, but it will not be the sacrifice one. It will not be your scampus. I get this. I go to my course, newest. And there it is, still Soul Core rank 16, but this time a Gildi Key Pulse and Onmyo Magic Power retains its level at 180. Now, for example, let's say I'm not happy with this. Without saving, without going to a shrine, return to the title screen. I'm gonna leave it totally raw for the few seconds that's required for loading so you know it's the real deal. We skip everything.
as soon as you click continue it will load the mission you left the game in and the game considers two things checkpoints when it comes to its missions the starting of the mission and the last shrine you visited so we didn't visit any shrines and it's as if we were never here so we go back to this door buff if you get too close to any of the enemies they will be alerted and your cover will be blown and they will be hunting you relentlessly on dream of the demon so avoid that we are here and again our course as you can see, I have my initial role as I did nothing. Defense and Yokai shift in Dark Learn well at critical health. So I'm gonna drop it again. And drop my Scampas again. As you can see, the Sadama always picks up the first one I dropped first, and it is the one it gets the fourth. I'm picking this up. Go to newest, and there it is, Anima, Melee, Damage, Dark Realm, mm, not too shabby, but not the best possible thing I could have gotten. So guys, this is pretty much it, you can keep doing this for as long as you want until you get your perfect core. Now the problem with Neo 2 is that it's quite difficult to find a spreadsheet that contains all the pools of every item and every accessory and every soul core. So we would know from the get-go what to expect from each re-rolling of each soul core. But with patience and a bit of time, you can re-roll any soul core the way you want to have it exactly. This also eliminates the need of having a thousand different versions of specific cores in your inventory. So for example, if you were keeping a core just because it has a specific perk but the rest was rolled the worst possible way, Spend some time, re-roll it to your liking here and you will have what you want and you can get rid of the rest or just dismantle them and get the materials. Hope you found this useful guys, I'm covering everything in Neon 2, the Tango's Disciple and the Vanilla game as well as any upcoming DLC. Until next time be well, stay frosty and always try for perfection. Cheers!